Good evening, board members, our committee, staff. My name is Candace Lucas. I'm here today on behalf of uh, Advocates for Equity in Schools, an organization, a member of organization of Advocates, I'm sorry, of Dignity in Schools campaign, which focuses on school push out, specifically of African American children and children with special needs. I'm here today once again to speak about the issue of special education violations in Richmond City Public Schools, which seems to be an epidemic and it seems to be systemic, and it seems to not have any accountability regarding it. Um, I see that Ms. Boyd is here, but she's not present, um, but I still talk about her. Um, Ms. Boyd is not the leader that this district needs for children with special needs. I've reiterated that over and over. Um, I've said every school, every IEP meeting that I've sat in on, I've experienced violations that number in the teens, basic violations that competent special educators should be aware of, competent administrators should be aware of, competent central office staff should be aware of. In addition, I've witnessed falsification of records right before our eyes. I shared that with you, Dr. Ben, that Ms. Paula Dawson falsified a document in front of our eyes. That's grounds for termination in the other profession. Specifically, when you're dealing with children, I would think there would be a higher level of ethical standards but evidently that doesn't apply to your staff, Dr. Benton, which is sad because children's lives are being impacted. I'm going to go ahead and start reading all of the violations that this district implements on a regular basis based on this book right here, which every school member should have. If you do not have it, if you're not familiar with it, then you're not competent to serve your, your constituents. This is state law and federal law regarding special education. If you do not have it, ask Dr. Boyd for one. She should have given you one. I'm going to begin, and I'll probably have to come back another week to finish the number of violations. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-30, responsibilities of the local school division. You failed that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-40, special education staffing requirements. RPS has failed in that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-50, the process for child fine, you failed in that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-60, referral for initial evaluation of special education, RPS has failed in that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-90, eligibility, RPS has failed in that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-90, termination of special education and related services, Virgin, uh, Richmond City Public Schools has violated that code. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-100, free, appropriate public education, a.k.a. FAPE, not FAKE, as one, of your as one of your administrators said, you fail miserably in that area, compliance-wise. Virginia Code 8, VAC 20-81-110, individualized educational program, developing IEPs, you failed in that area. You failed our children in that area. Virginia Code 8, VAC-81-120, regarding children who transfer into the district, you violated that law as well. Virginia Code 8, VAC-20-81-130, least restrictive environment and placement. Virginia Code, you violated that area as in, in almost every school that I've been to. You don't know how to place children in the appropriate environments, and then when you place them, you place them in areas that don't meet their needs. I could go on and on and on, but these are the violations. This is the law. It's not just noncompliance, it's violation of the law. You guys are criminals. You're criminals. When you violate the law, aren't you a criminal? You're criminals. So my question to this board is when are you going to look at the house called RPS that is on fire, is in full flame ablaze with children inside of it? When are you going to decide that you're going to stop playing with each other and you're going to get something done to put the fire out? Not only that, when are you going to decide, Mr. Bourne, to get rid of the arsonists in your camp? 
When are you going to do that? You have yet to respond to my request and my petition to have Dr. Baden's professional license reviewed. That is your obligation, your legal obligation. If you can't handle it, I'll file a bar complaint against you. I don't have a problem doing that. You have a legal obligation to protect our children. Do it. Thank you for your time.